I don't even know where to begin because I am heartbroken. My heartbeat is troubled within. I can feel it under my skin color. Why should pigmentation determine how I'm perceived in society? And I wish this was just a perception. You know, it don't matter what people say, right? But this is how we are being treated. So listen to this broken word poem. Because if I say it's spoken word, I'd be lying. This has been spoken for so long, but you just don't seem to listen. So let me speak to you in a language you understand. In fact, to just let Google, Google that. Google, can you please auto translate this text to French and to any other language in question? I'll wait. Nous ne sommes pas des objets, nous ne sommes pas des animaux, nous ne sommes pas des spécimens, nous sommes des gens avec des droits créés par la main de Dieu. L'Afrique n'est pas un zoo, l'Afrique n'est pas un laboratoire, je répète que l'Afrique n'est pas un zoo, l'Afrique n'est pas un laboratoire. For my dear English speakers, let me address you too, because the virus of racism is unfortunately always in view. Let's not even count numbers, but racism is worse than Ebola, SARS, MERS and COVID-19 combined. Now, I know you're looking at me weird for that statement, but hey, why don't you look at the statistics and let me finish my statement? But just in case you don't see it, let me show it to you. Let's start with the Holocaust, shall we? Six million people killed and we can't really tell if the tallies are intact yet because there is more that hasn't been documented yet and I wish I could stop right here <laughs> but if you don't understand the danger the racism does I will have to show it to you in the US alone blacks are three times more likely to be killed by police that's 1,210 people of color killed just last year alone and I'm sure there's so much more but what do you expect when the president has the audacity to call other countries and I'm not gonna say it it's so embarrassing so Dr. Jean Paul thanks for apologizing I really really thank you for that but apology is still in review because the real question I have is if we never spoke out would you really have revoked your statement and I know we all make mistakes I do perhaps because of ignorance or science, but there's something really wrong when the mistake is rooted in the system. And it breaks me because everybody is well aware there is systematic racism in the US and Canada, wherever you go. But nobody seems to do anything about it. They'll be like, who cares, bro? And I wish WHO cares about this virus too, because this is more than a pandemic. This is satanic. The devil literally condones it. So what do you say when black people are denied access to basic necessities in China while China is granted access to essential minerals in Africa? The imbalance is so embarrassing. But this has to stop. It's time the human race stopped resting against each other but held hands and rest together.